Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to fetch data from a MongoDB collection using SQL Server and Polybase. Polybase is a feature in the SQL Server that allows you to query external data sources such as MongoDB using a standard SQL syntax. Uh, this can be useful if you have data stored in MongoDB that you want to analyze using SQL Server tools. Uh, by the end of this tutorial, you will be able uh, to connect to MongoDB database from SQL Server. Okay. Uh, we are in MongoDB uh, Compass environment. Uh, to create a new user in MongoDB, you first need to switch the admin database. and uh, then uh, you can create a new user using the uh, db create user command in this example we are create mango user yeah uh, with it uh, with the password uh, in this you uh, the user is given the uh, user administrator database role uh, which allow them to manage users on the database and next uh, we create a new database uh, called info and sorry and collection name is persons and use info okay and i'll be the insert a uh, to document into the person collection And finally, we can uh, use the find uh, use the find method to retrieve all documents from the person collection. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, you can see documents here. We change uh, we change the environment to a screw server. Uh, first of all, I I create database SQL MongoDB and switch to it. Okay, and here I check installation uh, poly based feature. yes it's installed already and here if uh, uh, if it be disabled you can uh, you can enable it with sp configure a store procedure yeah with this value uh, and check polybase again from value and configuration value and uh, next you must you must uh, restart polybase Uh, you must restart uh, SQL Server Polybase Data Movement and uh, SQL Server Polybase Engine here. I create um, create master uh, master key. 
uh, master key uh, encryption is used to pro uh, protect the uh, private key of uh, certifications and asymmetric keys that uh, are present in the database. Okay. Next step is a scope credential. What is a scope uh, credential? A database scope uh, credential is uh, a record that contains the authentication uh, for uh, application information that is required to <coughs> connect to resources outside the SQL server. <coughs> uh, most credentials include the uh, Windows user and password. Uh, before creating a database uh, a scope credential, the database must have a master key to protect uh, the credential. Okay, uh, here is an identity is a MongoDB user, a Mongo user, and password user. Uh, same as here. I create, uh, I create a user, uh, MongoDB user. Oh, uh, with the same uh, username and password. Okay, I create him. Okay, excellent. Okay. Next step. Uh, next step is uh, data source, uh, external data source. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is the external data source? Uh, External data source is a uh, SQL server is used to establish connectivity to other system. It's provide uh, the location, port, credential, and connectivity options regards to access the uh, external source. Uh, external data source are, uh, is uh, is used for uh, supported uh, data visualizations and data load using Polybase bulk load operation using SQL Server or a uh, SQL Server database using bulk or in, uh, insert. Okay, and here I execute it. Yes, here you can. Okay, here. Yes. Okay, you can see here. And uh, next step is uh, external table. Uh, it, okay, what is the external table? External table. Uh, is a table that reference uh, an external storage pad by the using the uh, location location clause like uh, name as a MongoDB, a MongoDB uh, collection. Uh, external table are used to set up the polybase features in SQL Server, which allow you to query uh, non-relational data from Azure Blobs, Storage, or Hadoop or MongoDB. Okay, and here execute it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, is here. Okay, and okay, and you can see external table here. And yes, I select uh, I select external table here, and I fetch data from um, MongoDB by SQL Server and uh, Polybase. Thank you very much.